Hey guys, it's Jade and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be answering a question that I get so much in the comment sections of these videos and on Instagram and on live streams and like on all that good jazz. And that's basically, should I start a YouTube channel? Or if you are a YouTube channel, should you keep going? Should you even have a YouTube channel? Like all that sort of jazz, I'm gonna be answering in this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and you would like to see more videos kind of pertaining to like YouTube tips, like having a channel, stuff like that. I have a bunch of video ideas that I would love to share with you guys and I'm definitely not like secretive or I definitely don't hold back any information from you guys because I want you to succeed on YouTube just as much as I want myself to succeed on YouTube because you know, fans, we stick together. All right guys, so with that being said, let's just get started with the video. All right guys, so I'm kind of gonna break this video down into three different sections. The first one is some kind of key things to think about before you start a channel. The second one is kind of like amazing things about starting a YouTube channel, stuff that I have personally learned from starting a YouTube channel. And then the third section is things that shouldn't hold you back from starting a channel. And also if I'm looking down in this video, I have some notes just so I can keep kind of all my thoughts in order. So that is why I will be looking down. So the first thing to consider before starting a channel is that YouTube is a commitment. Something that people oftentimes forget is that YouTube is not just sitting in front of a camera and talking like I'm doing right now. That's one piece of the puzzle, but that's probably 10% of what actually having a YouTube channel is. Editing, number one, takes forever and it is so hard. And if you really don't have a passion for video creating and editing, you're really gonna hate having a YouTube channel. And there are definitely times that I will admit that I really, I'll film a video and I just really don't wanna edit it. Like I'm just like, oh, and it'll sit there for a week on that SD card or upload it into my computer and I never just go through and edit it because it's just, it's time consuming and it's tedious and it's hard and technology is annoying sometimes. So that is definitely something to think about as well as, at least for me, I don't have managers and agents. I'm really not at that stage of YouTube yet. Um, and I kind of like, you know, having more control over my channel. But with that comes the entire business side of YouTube. When you collaborate with businesses or even get sent things and be on PR lists and stuff, that's a lot of legal things to manage. And I know for me, it's kind of been difficult and also really rewarding and really great um, because I like that marketing kind of aspect of everything. Um, of, you know, you have to sign legal documents. I have to be in constant communication with brands and putting myself out there and creating a good like image to the brand. Does that even make sense? I don't know. But anyways, it's just a lot more than sitting down and filming a video. And going back to the actual point, since I've gotten so sidetracked, consistency is so key on YouTube. You need to upload regularly, you need to have a schedule, you need to be interacting with your audience on the daily basis, whether that be through Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, anything like that. And you know, you do have to put so much effort into it to actually see those rewards. So that's definitely something to think about with YouTube is, is it something that you really wanna dedicate that much time to. The second question that I feel like you guys should ask yourself is do you really have a passion for making videos? This is something that I think gets so lost in the grand scheme of YouTube. YouTube has blown up so much. There are so many people making a lot of money off of YouTube um, that everyone now just kind of sees YouTube as, oh look, like it's a person that makes videos and they get famous and a bunch of money and can buy Lamborghinis and Teslas and crap like that. But at the heart of it, YouTube is making videos. There is social media platforms endlessly. If you're like a writer, you can have a blog. If you like, photography or whatever, you could have an Instagram, that type of stuff, but at the heart of YouTube, and I feel like it's something that just gets so lost sometimes in this whole big realm of social media, but YouTube is making videos. For me personally, I love videography. You guys know that even before I started a channel, I was always making little short films, making little videos, but especially before I started the channel, I was so into photography and I still am. Um, so. That was definitely something that for me has been such a motivator and a driving force for my channel is to be able to stay grounded in the thought that YouTube is for making videos. So don't start a channel if you don't actually have a passion for making videos because this is what it is. Being a social media influencer, getting free things, getting subscribers, getting famous. I don't even know what that is supposed to mean. Um, definitely comes after the fact and that should be on the back burner because videography is really what YouTube is. 
So this third question to ask yourself kind of ties into both of those that I just said, but are you starting a YouTube channel for the right reasons? Like I said, YouTube is for making videos, and if you have a passion to be an artist and a creative person and making videos. Um, so a question to ask yourself, like I just said, is are you starting it for the right reasons? YouTube is not about making money, it is not about getting famous, it is not about having a bunch of subscribers, it's none of that stuff, and I hate to like sound like pessimistic, like I'm like talking down on like having a YouTube channel, I'm really not trying to. You'll see in like the rest of this video, it's kind of more like for starting a YouTube channel, but these were just things I felt like I needed to say before I went into the reasons to have a YouTube channel. Um, but having a YouTube channel for the right reasons is what is ultimately going to let you enjoy what you're doing. If you are going into this wanting subscribers, wanting fame, wanting money, wanting brand sponsorships or free product, you're going to end up so dissatisfied. Like you're just never fully going to be happy doing this, you know? I, and that's something that I've struggled with, I'm not gonna lie. I started my channel because I love making videos, but it's definitely very difficult for me to not compare myself to other people on YouTube and see, oh, look at all that free stuff she's getting, oh, look at that brand trip she's getting to go on, or look how many subscribers she has. You know, that's definitely something that everybody struggles with. But when you start your YouTube channel and when you're putting videos out there, you should be making videos because you want to make them, not because it's gonna get you subscribers or fame or I don't know. And the fourth question to ask yourself is can you deal with the hate, the pressure, and the unaccepted? So for most people, I assume we don't live in Los Angeles, California. If you live in Los Angeles, that's great for you because YouTube is just so big and amazing in that area. Like it's just, that's the social media powerhouse is Los Angeles. But for me, I live in a city in Southern Tennessee. Like that's, it's just not, it's not here. Like, I'm one of the only people in my school that has a YouTube channel. I am the only person that consistently posts on YouTube and has a following um, on YouTube. And it's definitely not accepted. It's definitely just not something that people do. It's not something that people talk about. And yeah, like, I get hate for it. I get people giving me weird vibes and just feeling uncomfortable a lot because of it. And for a long time, I hid my channel. And I still, like, don't just openly just what like I have a YouTube channel I'm a YouTuber Blah. like all the time at school because I am a little bit self-conscious about it sometimes like it's just hard and then you know there's a whole nother element of that is that society does not see social media and does not see making YouTube videos as a productive use of your time or as a way to make money or a future career obviously YouTube is not like my career yet but people the society just doesn't like that. They want you to go be a lawyer. They want you to go be a doctor. They want go want you to be work in a cubicle all day long. And this is not going to be something that society really accepts you to do. And the third part of that question is just hate in general. We all know it's there. There's lots of people on the internet that want to bring you down. And most of that time, that's because they're jealous or they're hurting themselves. So. I mean, you kind of have to have a little bit of sympathy for the haters, but you are going to get bad comments on your videos. You are going to get that hate and that pressure and it's a lot harder to deal with than you would immediately think. Um, you just gotta let it not come, you gotta let it not hit you. I'm having a hard time with my words today. Um, but that is really the fourth question that you guys can consider. Can you deal with the hate? from the comment sections and stuff like that, the pressures from society telling you that it's not an accepted thing to do. And third, the unacceptance from your peers, you know? If, especially if you're a teenager and you're my age starting a YouTube channel in high school, like people definitely are weird about it. So just keep that in mind. So now we're going to move into the second section of this video. And that is the amazing things about starting a YouTube channel. The things that I have personally learned and grown from because of starting my channel. The first thing is that YouTube is an amazing creative outlet. Humans by nature are creative and we need to be creative. That is our only way to really be able to live a fulfilled and happy life is to, you know, have that creative side of ourselves. And I know that some people sometimes think, oh, well, since I'm not a musical-y person or I'm not like an artist that can paint or whatever, then I don't have my creative outlet. That's wrong. I mean, me personally, I do like that art side of stuff too, but my main creative outlet, my main way of expressing myself and being fun and creative and spontaneous is through making videos and it is through photography. That is my art form. Um, so YouTube for me has been an amazing creative outlet. The second thing that I have learned from YouTube is taking risks. 
not risks that could like put myself in danger you know what I mean not like stupid stuff but just taking risks and like putting myself out there and like I remember if you guys have been following me for a little while like my style of videos, how I edit them, how I upload them, like music, stuff like that, how I'm just even am, my camera presence has changed. When I first started my channel, I was like, hey guys, it's Jade and let's do a DIY. But then now it's so much more chill. It's just me and you. This is my personality that I act in front of my friends or at least the personality that I want to act in front of my friends. And, um, and now I get to share that with you guys. So that is a risk in itself, you know, being yourself, whatever, as well as, when I put a video out on the internet, that's a risk in itself. Like You don't know how people are going to react to it. You don't know what people are going to think of it. And like I'm saying, what I kind of talked about in that fourth point in the last section, like hate, pressure, unacceptance, those are all things that you have to overcome by taking a risk. And I definitely think that YouTube has made me more of a risk taker. The third thing that I have learned from YouTube is honestly just building character. Um, YouTube definitely has been something that has grown me and helped me kind of find my own like personal identity. That's kind of the next one that I was going to talk about too, but I can kind of talk about them in the same one. Um, for the building character aspect, YouTube has really let me be able to kind of disregard haters and not be defensive and not be, you know, mean and just always upset all the time, but really just, you know, take things as light as they are and just accept life and see all of the beautiful, amazing aspects of life. And then for the discovering your personal identity sort of aspect of YouTube, I have really been able to discover what my personal style is, what I like to do, what I'm passionate about, and you know, going on to the taking risks aspect, go and do it. You know, if I want to make YouTube videos, if I'm passionate about this, I'm going to go and do it. And I really don't care how many weird looks it gets me in the hallways because this is something that I love doing. And even if I get four or five weird looks in the hallways, sometimes I know that I have over 26,000 of you guys who are watching this video and who are watching my channel who like what I do. So it's just, that's a really like nice part of YouTube. And that also segues into my last thing that I have learned and loved about having a channel is you guys. You guys have been amazing. You're so supportive when I see your letters and your DMs and your comments on Instagram or your comments on the videos or my interaction with you guys on live streams. Anytime I'm ever with you guys, I leave feeling so much more inspired and happy and amazing and you guys have really had so much of an impact on my life that you will never even understand. You guys have been such a powerful influence on me. This channel has drastically changed my life <laughs> so much. Um, so, and that's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, not to get sappy here, but I love you guys. You're the bomb. And for the last section of this video, I have three things that should not hold you back from starting a channel. Number one, other people's opinions. We've kind of talked about this a little bit throughout this video, but other people's opinions of what they think about you having a YouTube channel or the types of videos that you want to make shouldn't matter. Go and do it. If this is something that you are passionate about, if you're passionate about videography, if you're passionate about social media and marketing and that type of stuff, go and put your voice and your influence out on social media because I promise you, if you are going in it wholeheartedly and you are being consistent and you're following some of the tips that I talk about in this video, you will grow and you will find your audience that loves your videos and loves you and your personality. And I think that that is just so, I mean, there's just no price that you can put on that. It's so amazing. The second thing that shouldn't hold you back is lack of equipment. Definitely, I thought about, oh, well, I don't have the biggest, fanciest camera yet, or like I don't have a microphone or studio lights and stuff like that to start filming my videos so I can't have a YouTube channel. Wrong. If you have a phone or if your family member has like a smartphone with a camera on it, those cameras, not gonna lie, like I am a tech guru, so you can take my word for this, are so good. <laughs> like they're so, 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 so good. And of course, eventually as you grow with your channel, your equipment and your stuff should grow and can grow with that YouTube because it does like pay you somewhat. It's not a lot, so don't go into YouTube for the money, but they do pay you somewhat. If you save that and you spend your time wisely, you can eventually work up to getting the equipment that I have now. And I feel so lucky to have the equipment that I have now. I love it so much. I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, but definitely don't let having a lack of equipment not 
let you start a YouTube channel because honestly your personality and the video that you put out there and the energy that you put out there is so much more valuable than what you're filming it on. And the last thing that should not hold you back is fear of rejection. I know that sometimes, you know, you're putting a video on the internet for anyone in the entire world to see. That's pretty scary, you know? Like you people are not always going to accept what you have to say. And obviously don't put like negative stuff out there on the internet. That's not what I'm saying, but like if it's something that you believe in and something you're passionate about, don't let your fear of rejection hold you back from putting that out on the, in the internet and putting that out on a video and starting a channel. So those are pretty much all of the little points I wanted to hit in this video. Um, so now you kind of have to ask yourself, should you start a YouTube channel? You want to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and you're doing it because you love making videos. Um, but you also don't want to hold yourself back from starting a channel because I know I wanted to start one for years before I actually started a channel. Um, and I was letting a lot of those things hold me back from doing it. So just now it is time for you to ask yourself that question. Should you start a channel? All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it or found it helpful or it inspired you, or at least put some things in perspective for you, please give it a big thumbs up, as well as comment down below um, what is kind of holding you back or making what are you kind of thinking about, whether or not you want to start a channel, or any questions you guys have for me about starting a channel, I would love to answer for you guys. Again, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, like I am 100% transparent with you guys. If you wanna know something about YouTube or starting a channel, I am very open and honest to tell you guys that like I don't want to like be like no like these are my secret YouTube secrets that nobody can know like no like I want you guys to grow too so and that is why I make these videos for you guys also guys if you are new here please subscribe down below to see more videos like this and more things like this generally my videos are a little bit more funny than this one so I apologize for that but this was more of like an answering a question kind of serious ish video um so there's not gonna be a bunch of funny zoom ins like normal so i apologize also guys make sure you follow me on instagram links are in the description as well as don't again links are in the description as well as a five dollar off coupon you can use on any of the stores on dote it's really great where i buy my clothes it's always a good time over there and so i think that that is going to be it for today's video and i will see you guys next week with another video bye guys <laughs>